Welcome back, everybody. This is the Mini Bike and Ain't Easy podcast, episode number two. Yes, sir. And I have my colleagues. I got producer Zane, making sure that we're staying on track. I then have California Bernie, <laughs> running the ones, twos, and threes, and maybe the fours. He's running the cameras for us. And today, we got a special guest for y'all. We have Jimmy Flacco Hall. Yes, What's sir. up, man? What's happening, y'all? What Thank, to do, man? Thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to come uh, say hi. I'm glad to be here. So first, I got to know, where does Flacco come in? Like, wh- how'd you get that name? <sighs> I was a welder for a long time. And, and anybody who welded for a long time, they know that you get nicknames. Mm. With me being slim, you know, Flacco means Spanish. In Spanish, it means slim or skinny. Ah. So it's just really slim. Okay. But... I like the Spanish version. Okay. <laughs> that work out? <laughs> Better. Nice. So, I've also got to know, how long have you been with Go Power Sports? Um, wow, it seems like so long. It really hasn't been. It hasn't been, because I remember last year at one of our meetups, you were just showing up. Yeah. You've been coming around as a customer for forever. Like, about three years now. And then you would bring in your drag bike, and you say hi, and you were the friendliest person. And the next thing I know, you're like down at the warehouse, yeah. like, "What's up?" I'm like, dude, what is? Yeah, up? I'm glad I'm, you're on the team. I'm here, man. I mean, God got real, real mysterious ways. And um, for the longest, man, I thought I had a passion for welding, and the welding led to many bikes. And like you say, I grew friendships with all of y'all up here, and that friendships became bonds. And I thought, well. Why don't I try to live my dream? And I mean, y'all, y'all allow me to do that. So, dang. So, so what do you do now for Go Power Sports? Um, I'm a salesman. I'm on the sales floor day to day. So you went from warehouse, yeah. packing our stuff, making sure all of our kits looked yeah. right before they went out. Rascals, little rascals, and vintages. And everyone loved you at the warehouse. And then we said, "Cool, we're taking Flacco." I'm sure everyone <laughs> cried. Yeah. And Sorry, then- Aldo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we're stoked to have you on the team just because you bring a wealth of knowledge and you bring a passion and a joy to it that Definitely. we're glad that you're here. I'm glad to be here, man. But you do more than just that. Yeah. I um I, I guess you could say I race for Go Power Sports. Yeah. yeah. And you Definitely. also build because now you're building up. That too. I'm building the drag rascal. Um, it's going to be super, super dope, man. Um, it's something I've been looking forward to a long time now. It's It's got my DNA all over it. Uh, of course, Taylor running point guard on it, but there's nothing that we decide to do that he doesn't have me weigh in or here, feel this out. You you do this. Mm-hmm. So you, you get on the bike and feel it. What do you think? Uh, it's a lot of that. So this drag DNA is all over it. It's, it's all Flacco. Mm-hmm. Like if, if, if um, I would say if Flacco and drag racing and mini bikes had a baby, then that's what we're coming up with. Uh, and it's the drag little rascal. So you big. So you love mini bikes, but it's really drag specific. Yeah, that's my forte. That's okay. my go-to. Now, how long you been dragging, and have you dragged anything else? Man, um, I was born at a drag race almost. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think that just because the mini bike stuff just got started, I just started drag racing. But my dad grew. Up, I grew up with my dad street racing crotch rockets. Nice. And bracket racing and, you know, a couple of events here and there. And that kind of just all came back to me when I jumped on a mini bike one day, put two and two together, and here we go. So your successful day is just being out there on the drag strip and just gunning it? A successful day for me, um, nothing breaks. Yeah. Most importantly, nothing breaks. <laughs> um the wind is at my back. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, and we just running. Running and just, just hanging out at the track is a good vibe anyway. Yeah. But to 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 be on a mini bike, because mini bikes tend to be the main attraction at our racetrack. You, you don't see it often. Mm-hmm. So when the mini bikes pull in and everybody's standing up and whipping out of cameras and, and all of that, yeah, that's a great day for me, man. Nice. And that's how, ma- great how many drag bikes would you say you got? Is it just the is it the one I seen the one with nitrous on it? Right now I'm on number two. Nice. Um, I started with the drag quad. I used the tau tau. Nice. Which everybody hates. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I um, scratched it, uh, built drag motors, slick tires, wheelie bars, nitrous. Mm. 
Um, then I decided to lose a little bit more weight just to get a bit more competitive with mm -hmm. the guys I'm sitting next to. Uh, and that's when I stumbled across the bike, you know, the Casper. Does Casper. everybody know what it is? Yeah, Casper the Ghost. So what is your fastest time on Casper? Like, what's your distance in time? Um, you going to make me say that on <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, and, and if that's, you know, I, if that's taboo, let me know. I'm kind of new to the um, drag world. I will say we're running nines. Okay. In the eighth mile. In an eighth mile? We're running nines. So I saw you just, uh, you just beat like a, like a Mustang, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what's most fun to me. I'd rather race the cars than the mini bikes because yeah. everybody's expecting me to lose, and you get their reaction like, oh, <laughs> he need to go sell his car now. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, actually, I, was, I wanted to ask, uh, so how often do you actually get out to go racing? Um, every Sunday if my wife let me. Uh, <laughs> shout out to her. Shout out to Nasha. Um, Mostly like every, I go like two Sundays and I'll take a break, maybe two Sundays break. So two on, two off. Um, during the spring and the summertime though, man, it may be every weekend. It's it's a lifestyle. It's, it's not a hobby anymore. Like this is what I do. It's one of those like the, the Instagram thing where it's like, no, this isn't a hobby. This nah. is, this it consumes my entire this, life. Yeah. And, and I'm fine with it. That's the beautiful part about it, though. I'm, I'm fine with it. Like, the mini bike questions at home that I get in my DMs, and I don't mind it. Like, it's not really work. Nice, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, so where do you usually race at? Yellow Belly. Yellow Belly Drag Strip. Y'all, come check out the gut. Don't let them fool y'all, man. The gut is a great place. That's what we call it, the gut. The gut. Um, Yellow Belly Drag Strip, Grand Prairie, Texas. Thursdays, Sundays, gates open up at 3. That's testing time. I try to get there early. I don't test in front of everybody. So, yeah. Yellow Billy Drag. Is it like a, like a, you don't want to perform around other people or you just don't want people to see what you can do? <sighs> it, yeah. I've tested before with guys who I was looking forward to, you know, racing with. And not to sound like a bully, but we've scared people off. Like, nah, I don't want to, you know what I mean? And and vice versa. Like, I've tested with people, and they, like, over there taking notes. Like, so, yeah, we – when it, when you get the drag racing, man, you'll see it, it changes up. It get kind of gritty mm. in a good way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, is there money involved? Maybe. Sometimes, here sometimes, sometimes we try to do a pot. Um, we try to always take care of our winners, um, especially when we get people from out of town. Even, even Mr. Dave, he sent me with hats. Like I know y'all racing out there this weekend. If, if they support us, if the, you know they they deal with Go Power Sports, look out for them. Give everybody a hat. So nice. we try to always look out for everybody, even the ones who not participating. If you're there, man, we appreciate you just helping growing the sport. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we try to look out, try to try to put a smile on everybody's face on their way home. Good. Yeah. Now, as someone who's like, I'm like brand new to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of curious, what's the difference in like the culture of drag racing between Texas and California, oh. Texas and East Coast, even Texas and Georgia, That's stuff like that? Question, because it's like, oh man, it's like Tupac and Biggie right now. Cause you got you got the California guys that doing 100 mile an hour passes, 100 mile an hour passes. That's all you hear, 100 mile an hour. They run a quarter. Then they hear us doing, oh, well, y'all doing 75 mile an hour, 80 mile an hour. Y'all ain't going fast. It's like we only running the eighth. Then you got the other side of the country. It's like they run 330, so their 60 foot times are insane. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's just different styles is what it is. And you kind of just roll with it, man. Like uh, the Oklahoma trip we we got coming up in February, I'm going to be a little out of my element. It's going to be 100-foot drags. So, I mean, like, it's, it's just going to be different. That's all it is. So now, and so when you're doing a shorter drag race, mm -hmm. you're prioritizing? Torque. Torque? Okay. Torque. Just right off the line, torque, you need torque, to be torque, just torque. ripping up. Who can up. get there first? Okay. Master Tilly right there, Valerie. Yeah. Shout out to Master Tilly. You the man, man. Shout out to <laughs> PC Motor Works, Paul Crafton, <laughs> yeah. Master Tillotson. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by PC Motor Works. 
<laughs> yeah, unofficial sponsor of the show. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, but yeah, man. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you gotta. Because I was gonna say that. Yeah. So now, how often do groups from these different, you know, um, uh, the, these different environs end up getting to race against each other? Lately, everybody been on some stay at home and get right for the summer mode. So. We haven't really been doing too much traveling, but um, man, like I say, during the spring and the summer, you might be, you might be in a different state, like one one state a week, mm-hmm. you know, if you really about that life, you know. I know that's a, a thing with the park open too. That's yeah. the difference is in California, you don't have seasons; it's all year. It's round. all year round. So yeah. And it's like now, all winter long, I've been looking for races. Like, that's why y'all see me racing cars, because ain't nobody else racing right now. <laughs> but so, yeah, man. What is your dream car to race against? I really enjoy beating that Mustang. Okay. I really, um. Let's post the clip and with, tag him. With, okay. with, with all the money in the world right now, if I were to go buy a new car, it'd be a Shelby. Mustang. Okay. So I mean, beating a Mustang, that that felt pretty good to me. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> what about a Tesla? How would you feel about going up against a Tesla, bro? I know a guy. Oh. I know a guy. Um. I wouldn't say he outran the Tesla, but it's doable. He left with the Tesla. Cole Weaver. I'm pretty sure y'all heard of him. That's, that's no, like we my, met him last time we were down Yellow yeah, Valley. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's my brother, man. Um, a lot of this mini bike stuff, I I wouldn't be as far or successful. If he didn't, you know, just coming out straight up, h- held my hand in the beginning of it and walked me in to introduce me into stuff. But, uh, yeah, he might can handle a Tesla. <laughs> okay. I might have a clip or two for y'all. We, <laughs> okay. We'll see. You know what? Actually, I, I think I might have seen it. Yeah. Uh, Kevin came over here with some stuff from the last time you guys were down there. Yeah. To, and man, to see, a, to see a grown man on a mini bike sit there – Next to a Tesla, I don't know if you ever seen a Tesla take off like full power, mm. but it's incredible. Yeah. Um, they don't spin, slide; they just go like a remote control car. Yeah. So to see a grown man on a mini bike take off with his Tesla, Tesla, and he's right beside it, had all the way up to like maybe half track, and that's incredible, man. That's awesome, <laughs> man. That's one piston. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, Versus all the electricity exactly, in the world. Exactly, yeah. One of the most expensive cars in the world, and he competing with it, man, on a mini bike. So, yeah. Jason, I have a question, because you've been in this longer. Mm-hmm, go for it. Ha- have you gone drag racing? Uh, when I was in high school, we would you know race our cars around, but I have not done one on a mini bike. So I'm hoping this year we're making a bunch of drag mini bikes, and I am definitely going to be racing everyone and anyone. I don't care if I'm slow or you, whatnot. You, you definitely got the bill for it. Oh, I definitely do. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take everyone on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm excited because I am competitive, and I don't care. I've never done it. I, I'm down to race anyone and everyone. You oh, definitely. Damn. You could be fast, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking notes from you. I'll be that guy <laughs> yes. of like, oh, okay, what's Flacco you doing? Get, I mean, you you get the note pass. I gotta, yeah. you know, you yeah. get the pass. Yeah. I, mean, I've, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've seen you on a bike, man. You're fast. Man, Jason can ride. Don't oh, let yeah. Jason yeah. fool you. Oh, when we were out, I mean, even when we were out in uh, this guy's hungry when they come. <laughs> oh yeah, savage. But he's hungry. Yeah, he's hungry. Savage. I'm like 130 pounds, so I'm pretty light. <laughs> yeah. I, I I gotta foot up on a lot of people. Savage. <laughs> yeah, savage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, as opposed to the rest of us in the studio who are, right. what, 250 pounds <laughs> or something? You start like, drag racing, though, you got to grow the hair back out. Man. Okay, and let that thing just flow yeah. in the wind. Got to oh, get the locks I'm down. Man. Well, you know, if you need, we do have a handful of wigs. I saw we, some Goldilocks wigs, We got too. Goldilocks, we got Prince. Prince. I still got the Prince wig, y'all. <laughs> and if you win that rascal... If you win the rascal and you come get the bike, personally, I'm going to give y'all the suit. You get the suit with the bike. Oh, there you go. You can't ride that bike without that suit, You got to have a suit. You got to have the suit on. You got to have the suit. I mean, I'd legally obligated you gotta to. You got to have a suit. Yeah. So, um, well, now's a good time. All right. We are going to take a quick break, hear a word from our sponsor, and we'll be right back. Here's our 98cc gasoline engine. Sometimes the 212 is a little too much, and the 79cc just isn't enough power. 
So, our 98cc engine is an excellent addition to our lineup. This powerful small engine is great for young riders or adults looking to cruise. The 98cc engines are on sale for a limited time for $79.95. Get yours while they last. And we're back. And all right, Flacco, so you said that you are also a builder. What? You're helping us build our drag bike, which is kind of our R&D little rascal, drascal, yeah. whatever you want to call it. So we're kind of mocking up our first bike. Can you tell me how that project is going downstairs? Oh, man, it's going flawless. Um, we literally took a frame just last week, we took a frame, cut it in half, welded it back together and here we are a whole week later we got a almost finished powder coated ready for the motor to be mounted motors built frame um it's the first scratch little rascal that i know of mm -hmm. um purpose built straight line bike um peg relocation uh like i say built drag motor um it's got our new drag bars on it. Uh, and that's another cool thing about it. Everything we did on the bike, just anybody, the average Joe, can come right here, go Power Sports, and get the part. Whatever that may be they see on that bike, they can get it right off the shelf. Yeah. Um, we didn't use a lot of crazy machinery as far as cutting. We used a, what? One, one, one grinder, the walk grinder and a welder, of course. And those were the biggest tools we used. Um, that being, I'm, and the and reason I say that is because anybody can do this, man. It's, you know, with just a little bit of welding knowledge and cutting knowledge, it's, it's doable, very much so doable. So we took the little rascal, you cut it in half, you added 10 inches yeah. to it? Right in the middle. Okay. We took, um, we took one rascal, cut it down the middle, spread it at 10 inches. Then we took a second little rascal, um, got a 10 inch section out the center of it and added it to the first little rascal and put them together. And we kept the same little rascal height. So uh, I know a lot of people are really, really into that compact look that yeah. the little rascal gives off. So you still get that tight fit, mm -hmm. muscular look, you know what I mean? It's just long. And you got a, a stabilizer on there? Yeah, we use our new stabilizer, um, juggernaut. Um, so, okay, so you're running a torque converter yeah. on there? And you're using that juggernaut? Yeah. Dang. So I saw that you also had to lift the engine up a few plates yeah, just for that torque converter. Just for the to torque converter. Um, we could have we just simply used our one inch lifter blocks. Mm -hmm. But with the power we're going to be putting down instantly because it's only a 100-foot race, that, uh, the bike we're building is pretty much all torque. Yeah. Um, we just wanted to go with something a little bit stronger, so what we did, quick way, um, took a couple of our billet plates, mm -hmm. I think three of them to be exact, stacked them up, lined them up, mounts perfect, get the perfect height for your uh, torque converter to clear. And, I mean, you got plenty of clearance mm. with it that way. Uh, and it looks good. Yeah. It looks good and it's really, really strong too with the with the three big bl plates. And are you worried about the placement of the engine? Does it need to be back further or, or being up front to help you with the weight, keeping it down? That's Is that the way to beautiful. go? That's what's beautiful about this bike. The um <coughs> the engine actually sits in the front of the bike and me being the rider, I'm gonna sit in front of the rear wheel, just slightly, which is crucial as uh, far as rider location and based on the rear wheel. So the bike won't be really really prong at all. Okay. Um, everybody been seeing the bike like, man, y'all putting all of this power. I think Pops even asked, y'all putting all of this power down, man, where the wheelie bars? And it's like, well, nah, we, we won't need them. If it does wheelie, it'll be it'll be trajected enough to where I'll be able to just ride it out. Okay. To where I won't have to lift, because I don't lift. Yeah. I win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even if it's a wheelie for a hundred <laughs> yeah. feet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, I, it's it's a clean looking bike. It man. is. Um, it is a purpose built drag bike. Is it show quality? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, man, from the chrome job, the the powder coat, to even our parts that we use on it is, is some of the best billet. Um, the steering stabilizer. That's one of the best stabilizers I've ever 
felt and I've rode big bikes like it's it's like crotch walking quality quality yeah. as far as a stabilizer. Um Man, that's a tongue twister. Yeah. Crotch, crotch rocket quality. Rock, crotch rocket quality. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So go into the engine. What are we running on this thing? We are starting off with a Tillerson two two five. We um ooh, Paul's gonna be mad at me. So we Maybe I mean Taylor. I don't know if so is that is that taboo to talk about? It because I want to know cam. I want to know what billet parts are in there. I we're wanna... running. Um, we started off with a two two five standard two two five Tillerson. Um, we added our stroker uh, connecting rod and crank setup, so that stroked it out to a two thirty six. We tried our new Mofo one head billet head, which yeah. is clean. Oh man, it, it, it performs. Yeah, it it performs even better than it looks. Just taking photos of the thing it's just like a block of chrome yeah you just bill it just shiny as can be oh. can you believe that started as one yeah. chunk yeah. and one machine did all of that yeah. yeah it's crazy but um so what kind of gas you running methanol Ooh, okay yeah. so you won't be able to pull start this thing you're gonna have to have like an electric starter yeah okay yes sir we uh pull up like john force man and <laughs> so are you are you able to tell me what cams in there? Yeah, we're gonna be running a uh, it's like our Go Power Sport special. Um, it's actually our cam, so it's not a Dyno cam or any other of those guys. It's a Go Power Sports cam. It's our two eighty five lift, Dang. super aggressive. Um, everybody here three hundred eight, three fifty six, big dumb cam, big dumb duration, big dumb power. True, theoretically, I can't argue with that. But with the drag race, you're looking for timing of that power. And with that 285 cam, man, it's, it's giving us that power on the low end all the way up to the top. Nice. Versus your average big cam is you waiting on that power band to roll in. Mm -hmm. Well, if everything goes as planned, then this, the power band should be so I'm right as soon as I, I'm the power band. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious on how many RPMs you think this thing will, will turn. It'll be my first 100-foot race. About six grand. It's got to be more than that. Tell I, me it'll be the more motor's than that. definitely capable of more. Um, just, just like stress testing it. Paul definitely built the 10,000 RPM capable motor. Um, but like I said, we just geared for 100 foot, so I'll probably be looking at about six grand. But that's 6,000 RPM in four seconds. Maybe three, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. So what kind of what? So what kind of gear ratio or what? How big of a sprocket did you go on the rear? In the rear, we ran a sixty tooth. In the front, we're gonna be running a twelve, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going. It's going. Everybody taking wages on on whether I'm gonna be able to find the foot pegs or just let my feet hang. <laughs> Superman on it. I really don't care as long as I'm across the line <laughs> yeah. first. <laughs> yeah. Just let them dangle. Yeah. So yeah, man. You guys plan on dynoing this engine anytime yeah. soon? Paul should be dynoing it tomorrow, if not tomorrow, next week. Okay. Yeah. And then when do when do we take this baby out to the track? We're gonna go test. Um I really would like for y'all to come to Yellow Belly with me. We would need to. I feel like oh, that's we important. Will. And test uh like immediately, yeah. So maybe that's maybe that's a conversation we can have okay. for the end of the day over with. Okay, next so, couple of weekends somewhere yeah. in there. Okay. Yeah. So we're building this drag bike for a race coming up in February, like you talked about, and so that's what Daryl Starbird's right. Hot Rod and Custom Show right. Go Power Sports is going to be sponsoring mm -hmm. the drag race and the roundy roundy round yeah. race as well. Okay. For the flat boys. And so you're going to be racing it yourself. Yeah. Yes, okay. I am. And um, my boy Slick Rick Watson, shout out to Slick Rick, uh, Busted Knuckle Bills. You the man, man. Um, he going to be running our circle track bike. Okay. So, yeah, we about to go bring it home, man. Hopefully there's some trophies and some money involved. I like trophies. Yeah. <laughs> I like trophies. Sometimes the trophy better than the money. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I was also told that if you don't win, you don't have a job. Is yeah, that the thing? Is that real? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to, that's, that's, that's another conversation we had. <laughs> I need to discuss my contract. Now. <laughs> no, I'm sure you got, you, I know you're going to make us proud yeah, for sure. Most but definitely. It, 
So we got Daryl Starbird uh, February 17th through the 18th? 17th, we'll be out there testing. 18th, it goes down. It's okay. The, it's the real, it's the grand finale. That's when we trying to bring it home. Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I bet anyone can just sign up and race. Yeah, yeah y'all come out. Come on, man. I, it, Y'all know y'all want to race with Go Power Sports. It's like, come on, come out. Opportunity of the lifetime. You know what I mean? <laughs> who, who doesn't want to say, yeah, I showed up to this race and I just so happened to beat Go Power Sports? Yeah. Come try. <laughs> wow, come I like on. that. Getting called out, everybody. Come yeah. on with it. <laughs> and that was the day Flacco just called out everyone yeah. in the world. To drag <laughs> I did. Race, didn't. So. <laughs> but nah, it, it, it's going to be a good time, Mom. I, I've never been. But I've heard about it, and it's super family or down, a um, lot of fast cars. Who don't like seeing fast cars and bikes? Yeah. Um, I heard. I even hear the food is going to be good. Like, the concessions are really good. So, yeah, man, y'all, huh. come hang out with us. Come check the bikes out. Um, we're bringing Purple Rain, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll be bringing yeah. the Little Rascal Purple Rain yeah. bike, Rascal so number nine. Yeah, y'all come check it out. Buy your tickets, you know. But, yeah. Get that outfit. Yeah. The outfit will be there. I <laughs> yeah. might wear it for. Yeah, one you know, you might as well race the drag bike in, as Prince. If 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 oh, tra- if if uh if the track tech allow me, <laughs> I, I might make a hit in the past in the, in the uh, purple suit for y'all. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I now I wanted actually I wanted to ask you some questions about racing. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean the only racing I've ever done was with my own two feet. So I'm kind of curious, like what. What kind of pre-race rituals do you have before you hit the track? Um, I always listen to rock music on my way to the track. Okay. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I Willie love Nelson. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a I'm a big 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 Miley Crew fan. Oh, I was hoping so. you were gonna say Miley Cyrus. Nah, so, okay. nah, nah. <laughs> I'm gonna leave Hannah alone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a party in the USA. <laughs> well, nah, I, um, I blast my rock music on the way to the track. Um, unload, uh, gas her up, let her warm up. Um, I go walk the lanes. I see which is stickiest, which which lane I got the best feeling about. Um, I pray every pass. I always pray. Um, yeah, man, that's, that's it. A- actually, it's, it's crazy. Um, uh, uh, a lot of people don't know what I lost my sister years ago. They're all good now. But on my way to my track, I passed my sister's house. So I tell my wife all the time, yeah, my sister just jumped in the car with me. We finna go win. You know what I mean? And that's like the only reason I can come up with, um, as to why I haven't broke my neck. <laughs> It's my sister, Got a she, angel, she there man. with me, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's kind of my ritual, man. Got you, dude. Rock music, pick up my sister, yeah, and we just go do it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, man. that's a, that's a ni- that's a really good way to memorialize, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, uh, most definitely. And, yeah, and she's still she's still with you, so till this day, yeah. uh, she uh, I got her picture in my garage, and everything I have built, she witnessed. So, got you, man. Yeah, man, most definitely. That's awesome. Most definitely. All right. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back after these words from our sponsors. <laughs> Are you looking for a little adventure? At Go Power Sports, we understand the need to build and explore. The Mega Moto 212 comes with a powerful performance package to get you anywhere, anytime, with video, phone, and tech support to help fuel your passion. And for a limited time, get free shipping and 10% off your Mega Moto 212 complete kit when using coupon code that's mega at checkout. So, what are you waiting for? We're back. Looks like Jimmy went ahead and broke into our next sponsor a little early. Oh, mm, I'm we're joking. It. We're going to take a <laughs> sip of this unsweetened pineapple drink. Dirty water. All right, it's, here we go. Yeah. Oh, I smelled before I walked. Also, a shout out to uh, Teen Life. All proceeds from Man. our from our raffle bikes have gone to Teen Life 100%. So we yes. definitely appreciate Teen Life. They're an organization that... Uh, puts counselors into high schools and other Man. groups so that these kids have a shoulder to lean on and ear to bend 
and uh, they do amazing things because life is tough out there. Yeah. So I'm glad that these kids who don't have the best growing up, yeah. uh, best surroundings, that they have a place that they can go to and just feel heard yeah. and get some actual solid advice. So teen life, here's to you. Hopefully I, I, I like this drink. <laughs> just full spit take. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't eat it. <laughs> Woo. Not my thing. Uh, I mean, I, I can drink like it. It ain't, it ain't terrible. <laughs> yeah. So this is brought to you by Teen Life, where you get the opportunity to act like a teen for one day. You can sleep in, eat pizza, play video games, have no responsibilities in ride the world. Ride mini bikes. Yeah, you can ride mini bikes all day, <laughs> yeah. drag race them, burn your sister's <laughs> doll's hair. Yeah. Anything a teen would do, you can do. They'll give this opportunity to you. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> teen life. Uh, oh. It's okay. I'm not. A, I'm not offended. I didn't make this. Yeah, like I just did. happen to like it. Like I'm not gonna be like. It's like if you don't like a movie, I like. I'm not it's, upset at you. It's just as strange as the other one. I can't uh, say it. I don't know how to pronounce okay. it. Legua. I give up. Legua. But it's. Slightly sweeter, oh, why do I keep but I don't it? think it's any. I, I know I did that a couple times. <laughs> I I think of you trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I need to quench my thirst. And it's nah. like, oh man, I'm still thirsty. I just and rub, then... I'm just gonna be thirsty. <laughs> nah, nah, not my cup of tea. Man. Oh, that man, that's fine. That's maybe with fine. a tea, I'm country, so maybe with a teaspoon or two of sugar. Yeah. Oh, that's what drink. it is. <laughs> maybe, maybe we need to take that on yeah. off of there. Make nah, it sweet. I, I, I want real sugar, I don't even want the splendor. Uh, Sweet and low, none of that sugar. Yeah. So this isn't your real passion. What is your real passion? Ooh, um, going fast. Okay. That's my ultimate woo-sa. That's my therapy, I would say. Um, not only going fast, it just makes it feel different when you you going fast and you kind of breaking the rules on something that you built. Yeah. You know what I mean? I. I, I welded all of these wells. I turned all of these bolts. Um, I tuned this motor. I know this motor. So, you know, um, that and really just influencing people, man. Cause I, I love the sport. Mm -hmm. So when I when I talk to somebody and they all, oh man, I love your bike, da, 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 and they put me up on this pedestal, I'm I'm sitting there like, nah, take me down. You know, I I want to hang with you, yeah. like. You know what I mean? You, yeah. We're the same. Yeah. So just when 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 I see somebody inspired, man, and they they get started off, whether it may be mini bike, go kart, just engine building, um, welding, just pushing people, man, yeah. pushing people, and that pushes me. Cause I mean, I get I get DMs and messages, man. I seen your YouTube video. I seen you on Go Power Sports video. Now I'm about to try this and that, this and that, like. Bro, that makes me feel 10 feet tall when I get these messages, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Push I just, and, push I understand that, uh, that going fast because I, I used to do the same thing on crotch rockets yeah, where I, I would heard. just bring it down to just the engine and then build it all the way up. And when you're going 140, 160, 180, there's a thing where you just feel like the whole world, everything, life yep. just goes Nothing silent. matters. Nothing else matters. You're just in that zone. Yep. And then you're like... Did I uh, tighten up that, that yeah. bolt down there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good thing I noise? always did. Yeah. That didn't feel, I don't normally <laughs> feel that vibration. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, the fact that you're doing it and you're like, wow, I just built this and now I'm sitting on top of it. And it works. How crazy is that? Yeah. My simple mind and my simple hands, yeah. I was able to do that. So that's one of the best feelings. And I guess that's where my passion is because now I want everyone else to be able to get a taste exactly. of it as well. Exactly. Especially with mini bikes, they're so cheap to get into. Yep. You just need a rough frame. It can be an old vintage frame. It can be a two hundred dollar frame you found on Facebook. You can get a yep. hundred dollar motor, and anyone could have fun doing this. Most anyone can get into it. You can be a that's little, the beautiful part about it. You can be a little kid. You have grandpas doing it, uh, and it's good <laughs> just seeing it just going through generations. And I guess my passion is just like yours. I want to make this easy, and if I think about it. Like, uh, the name of the podcast is Mini Biking Ain't Easy. But in my mindset, I'm like, how do I make it a little easier so that people can actually right. jump in on this? You you really don't 
Cause mini biking ain't easy, so you really can't make it any easier. Um, but you can host jump in and hold somebody's hand, yeah, and walk them through it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause we all, man, we've all of us we pulled our hair out this part, that sole out. What fits this? I don't know. Nobody want to tell me information. So I mean, it it it's not easy, but I mean, helping holding somebody's hand, feeding them information. Just uplifting them, yeah. telling them they bike look good, liking their pictures on Facebook, yeah. in in the comments, man. It like that means a lot, and when it means a lot to them, it means a lot to me. So it's just drive. It's 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 kind of a a constant reciprocating. You know, it's just back and forward, man. It never stops. It never stops. That sense of community is real because without Taylor, I would have. I, I wouldn't have as much knowledge without him, without you. You're right. going to teach me everything about drag races so I can yeah. beat you one day. <laughs> so I think that's really cool because at the end of the, end of the day, I mean, mini bikes, you know, it's not life or death situation, nah. but it gives us something to vibe on, right. something just to connect on right. and just get away from the stress of life and just hang out and just ride two wheels right. together. And it's, it's a lot of people out there, man, who've been interested about drag racing for God knows how long. It's not cheap. It's not free. Um, your average street drag racing car, yeah, just a chip shot. You're looking at about fifty to a hundred grand. Just to be competitive. Fifty sure. grand meaning like you got a couple buddies out there that looked out for your own parts. Yeah. Um, versus mini bikes, drag racing is actually affordable. Yeah. I tell everybody that it's, it's affordable drag racing. Yeah. You know what I mean. Just about everything the big LS Chevy guys do to their motors to build them for drag racing, the push rods and the cams and the port polish to heads and the, the roller rockers, and we do all of that same stuff. Yeah. And we have the same amount of fun, yeah. you know, as the, as the drag race car guys. So yeah. it's just it's affordable drag racing, man. Mini bikes, the mini bikes. Yeah. <laughs> Easy way to go. Yeah, it is. Fun way. Yeah. Fun, easy, but but fun, most definitely. May I just ask you? This is for both of you guys. What was the first time where you realized, like, fast? That's the speed. That's what I want to do. I want to be faster than I was yesterday, and I want to be faster than the guy next to me. What was that? When did you realize that? Mm. Mine's easy. Mine was around seven years old when I got my first <laughs> mini bike. And then, uh, and then Taylor, you know, got his bike. And then, since he's kind of like my brother growing up, we've always been competitive yeah. with each other. Yeah. So at a very young age, especially around the go, it was even with go karts because we would both hop on a go kart. Like, okay, well, let's do this. You know? <laughs> yeah. No matter what, yeah, at a very young age for me, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say about ten or eleven is when it really hit me. Okay, I want to go. I want to go faster. Um, I grew up like just like you, go karts, mini bikes, and mopeds. I I grew up around this stuff. I don't even remember riding training wheels on a bicycle. That's how long I've been riding. But um, I remember uh, you familiar with toys with tot, toys for tots, yeah. the charity ride. Yeah. Um, I went on a charity ride on the back with my dad one year. And that was like the first year I actually got to ride with him and his club in the pack and like actually be on the road with these guys. And man, that did it for me. Yeah. Just at 100 miles an hour for that long of a period of time, when you get to cruising and coasting at 100 miles an hour, yeah. that's a different kind of peaceful. Oh, you sure. know what I mean? And it just stuck with me. So yeah, I say about 10 or 11. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> now that I think about it, when I was able to drive, we had a I had a Mustang GT growing up, uh -huh. and then since we're in Texas, it's just open highway and just open land. You know, b before everyone moved here, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but we, would, yeah, you would easily hit just 120 and just everything just slow down. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. It's, it's crazy as it sounds, but yeah. Just race everywhere. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man. I think we I've had. Go back. No. <laughs> I've had what. Five Mustangs, and they were all five speeds. So everywhere I went, I'm like, boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom, everywhere. Nice. So, yeah. And now I'm the same way in my Charger. I get in it, 
standard mode, sport mode. <laughs> ah, that's <is> better. <laughs> yeah. So Pops has a uh, a Chevy Stingray. I heard. A Corvette. That thing's got a turbo mode, and we took the top off, and my hair is just sticking up, but the thing just gets in turbo mode. It just <laughs> yeah, drops down to yeah. the ground, and just hitting these turns, going 180, it is unreal. It's, but it's that's uh, it's the closest to feeling yeah. alive that yeah. I can think of. I do like people don't know after every pass, every winning pass, I'm like screaming in my helmet. Yeah. <laughs> then I think I wonder what people would think if they just seen my face and me screaming inside of this hill right we'll now. We'll mic you up the next time you're doing a race so that we can catch that. Yeah. 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 That's gonna be the new intro for You might videos. have to bleep it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show. Yeah. So I got an off topic question for you. Shoot. What is Tommy Pickles? Tommy Pickles. Um, his dad. Stew pickles. Hold on, we gotta go back. What is a Tommy Pickles? A Tommy Pickles? A Rugrat. <laughs> from the cartoon from the Rugrats, shows yeah. from, on from the Rugrats. Nickelodeon. Did you not yeah. watch? No, I, I, I watched. I even played the video game growing up. Yeah. But I'm unfamiliar. Now I don't remember his, his dad now. Okay. Um, I tell everybody, um, he was a big inspiration for me, man, starting off building. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but... Tommy Pickles, his dad was an inventor or engineer or. And Tommy's the one with the glasses, right? Tommy was the no, little. That's Chucky. Tommy. Oh, that's ah. a... okay. Oh, Come on, man. <laughs> the ninety babies, the yeah. internet ninety oh, babies, sorry. gonna they gonna oh, eat I'm you sorry. alive. Sorry, man. everybody. Hey, Tommy's the one that he like. He's got spiky hair, <laughs> and he says like he says like eat my shorts. You talking about that guy? <laughs> he's got to walk next door. He's like, did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> he's like Bobby generic. It's generic. <laughs> or, no, 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 generic. <laughs> He had the laboratory. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Always trying to uh, take over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, with the two lab rats. Um, <laughs> oh, why do I keep drinking that? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, Tommy Pickles, his dad, Stu Pickles, he was an inventor. And just about every episode of the Rugrats, man, he would be in the basement tearing stuff apart trying to build stuff and come up with the new greatest toy for the kids or invention or whatever it may be. But it never worked. And um, like I say, starting off building mini bikes, uh, I was at home, man. I was on disability for a while when I started building them. And so I kind of, I would tell my wife, man, I, I feel like Stu Pickles. She said, well, what do you mean? Well, I, I feel like I'm building all of this stuff. And it's like, well, why? And one day, man, someone came and made me an offer on a go kart that I built, and and I thought, okay, now Stu Pickles makes sense. If you just just keep going, man, with your inventions or whatever they may be, um, mini bikes or telescopic fishing poles, somebody's gonna feel you one of these days. If you just keep going and keep pushing it, somebody gonna look at your work and say, well, I want one. You know what I, I mean? think passion passion shines through. Yeah, I think that's a big thing. Definitely. Um, definitely. Now you got kids. Yeah. Okay. So how how do you get that lesson across to them? Is it just are you just leading by example and you're showing them by you're dedicated to making these things or do all you the let time. them come in and help you out? All, all the time. My son, he oh, Juice, his name Jimmy too. We call him Juice. He's six, and um, he is at the point where he kind of want to help. But his attention span is short, so he don't really pay attention. But my daughter, she's 13, and um, my wife, she's a hairstylist. My daughter, she picked it up from my mom, to you know. She, so she's a stylist now. At 13 years old, like she has a clientele. At 13, really? Yeah, and God. and <laughs> yeah, and the only reason I can come up logically come up with that is why this little girl drive is so hard. Is because she see she see me and mom, you know what I mean, and she love it, and she see I love these mini bikes and go karts and how hard I work on that and how hard mom how much mom love what she do and how hard mom works to, she got the mind state well, I want this, um, I get paid to do what I love, so that's what I'm gonna go do, yeah. and it kind of just trickles down, man. That's it awesome, trickles dude. down. Um, but Juice did tell me I, I was trying to lean him towards motocross. I really, really wanted a, a Supercross champion in the nice. family. 
And um, so we went and got him a little 50cc dirt bike and um, got him out trained up. And he riding, picking it up real good. And he tells me one day, Dad, I don't think I want to race motocross. He's six. Dad, I don't want to race motocross. I want to I want to race in a straight line like you do. So I'm like, what do you mean, Juice? You know, Dad, in a straight line. When the light turn green, you just go. I want to do that too. And I'm 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 standing there like, tears. <laughs> yeah. I guess we putting street tires on your bike then, son. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So y'all look out for him. 50 cc champion. Y'all, y'all look out for him. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about big Flacco. Y'all got to worry about little Flacco. <laughs> little Flacco. <laughs> yeah. He way less than me. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna be jockeying for you in ten years. Yeah. But the, but but they definitely those two big part of why I keep going, man. Uh, yeah. It, even even when I get home, Daddy, I seen you on YouTube today. That's like that make me want to hit y'all up, Bernie Zane. What we doing next? Because <laughs> my kids is like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they love it, man. They love it. And my daughter, oh, I seen you. Her her friends, I seen your dad, man. He he really worked for Go Power Sports. Like yeah, man. But all of that boils down to just. It makes me don't want to stop. I can't stop at this point. I I got no other options. It's mini biking or nothing. <laughs> so I mean, no. I mean, sometimes that's one of the thing. Uh, what is that that they used to say? It's like you have to like burn the ships behind you. Yeah. It's like you know. It's like when you land somewhere. Yeah. You find the thing that you're doing. You find it, that opportunity. Exactly. You You just have to take it through to its conclusion. Yeah. That's I, all there is. I told to people it. for years, man. I I don't know how, why, when. Or what level or how big, but these go karts and these mini bikes are gonna feed my kids one day. Nice. See where I'm at, yeah. right? So, yeah, speak it, man. Yeah. Speak it. Don't stop, and don't take no. Yeah. yeah. If you do take no, find another way. <laughs> Somebody gonna tell you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing that I find really interesting about mini bikes in general just whenever i see you guys, and i'm sure it's all like anything where you're working in a shop or you're working on automotive stuff but just watching you and taylor down there and you guys are like how are we going to get this pipe to fit and you're like i see you guys you're visualizing in and your heads you're making everything that's happen. fun to us yeah you know what i mean that's... but it's, it's like this is like it's it's practical problem solving yeah every time you guys work on a bike we, we're pretty much um the way I see it, what me and Taylor do, we take a puzzle, put that puzzle together, um, tape it up so there's one piece, and cut it up, and then try to put that puzzle back together again. That's pretty much, and that's how I see it. You know, we're creating our own puzzle, our own jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Literally cutting the pieces. For Even though we created it, it's still not gonna just throw itself back together you know we still got to work but yeah man but i think that's what i mean as someone who's a novice at this stuff i think that's what's cool for me to see is whenever anyone builds one of these mini bikes man it's like it's it's gonna have the idiosyncrasies of whoever put their hands on it because even even if someone just picks up a stock you know they pick up a, a mb200 or right. something you know when they're putting it together, they feel empowered. Yeah, they you know their fingerprints are on. Yeah, it, you know it's like you put that sweat in there. You had yeah, to do that to make it definitely. work. And it, people like, I get a lot of people on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'm I'm super open to questions. Ask me questions. DM me. Um, tag me. Ask me if you're looking for a part. If we whatever it may be, you need help. And um, I know a lot of people are ashamed to ask like beginner questions. Don't be. You know what I mean? Don't be at all. That 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 stuff. When people ask me questions like that, that I can just oh, answer. That tells me okay, yeah, I'm on the right path. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? I'm 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 doing, I'm doing my guy's work, yeah. my my part. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Especially when you probably have those same questions. Exactly, and that's why I feel like nah, bro, you shouldn't be. Sh- I wish I had a had a flaco. When I started off, you know what I mean, but I wouldn't have been ashamed to ask because I wanted to know. And so yeah, you know, I'm the same way with video work because I'll have people ask me questions all the time about video work. I love doing it because I wish I had somebody. Exactly, you know what I mean. And how can I expect to be fortunate and blessed 
if I'm just like, no, nah, I can't help you. You know what I mean? So nah, I don't mind it at all. Can you so can can you remember the first thing when you were like when you the first thing that you asked Cole when you when you guys were talking? Can you remember what you were asking him the first thing? <laughs> What's a clutch? Um. <laughs> why are y'all driving around me? <laughs> That's the first question I ever asked him because I I come out there with a torque converter in the eighth mile race. And, man, I was leaving on them five or six bikes, jumping out there on them, get half track, and they would come mowing past me. So I'm like, man, why Why is my bike just dying? I thought I was going fast, but, man, you going fast. Why am, why am I just falling on my face? And that's when he got to explaining, you know, torque converter differences with your clutch and uh, gear ratio, and I know nothing about a bully. Nothing. All I know is a disc clutch. Yeah. But they got these big old three disc bullies, and I'm, I'm like, why does it look like that? You know what I mean? So yeah, that was my my first question. Why are you driving around me like that? How? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, let me ask. So what's a bully clutch? A bully? Yeah. It's a uh, it's disc. We're talking a disc clutch, uh, meaning you got discs that are spinning. Or sitting, and in between those sitting discs, you got spinning friction plates. Hit your throttle, those plates come in contact and make power and spin. Um, Bully is just a brand. It's okay. just a really, really good brand. Okay. Um, you, you see a lot of bully, you see a lot of bully style, meaning it's a disc clutch. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah. Got to. Got to. They. Yep, got to. Especially in Cali, see, they doing 100 miles an hour. Torque converter won't allow you to to do that. You know what I mean? So, you, if you if you're looking for big numbers, I would say mm, 65 plus, maybe 60 plus. You you want that clutch on there? Okay. Yeah, definitely. Gotcha, gotcha. Definitely. Yeah, as someone who's going to get beat by one of you guys or both of you guys at some point in the future, I want to know. How to get beat less. Less. Yeah. With a clutch. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be his perspective. But, I lose less. But <laughs> if you, let's say you go to Louisiana. Yeah, let's yeah. say you're in New Orleans drag racing for the weekend, mini bikes, hmm. and you got a clutch. You're in trouble. Really? Yeah. So what are in they trouble. do in Louisiana? Because, see, they're not running 660 foot. They're running 330 foot. Okay. So you... You you're not needing that that high that high mile per hour or that super high RPM. They they launch it, get there really quick, it's over. Mm. So most of your Louisiana drag bikes, it's gonna have a torque converter on it. You know what I mean? Gotcha. That's why you I, I don't um I'm actually gonna miss out on the Louisiana event that's coming up. And it's with all of the different events around, I'm not able to make the changes for the Louisiana event for my bike. For the three thirty race, and then change back for the eighth mile racing. So I'm 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 a miss out. But shout out to y'all, man. I I'm just working on it. My wife ain't supposed to know. <laughs> so then, speaking of events, so February seventeenth to the eighteenth, we got Daryl Starbird's Hot Rod, and you'll be drag racing roundabouts. Yep. Then we have April. Um, we got paid swap meet. Yes, I missed it last year. And, and that's not a race, but that's more of a hangout, buy as much stuff as you want. I heard it's like mini bike heaven. Yes, it's you like, can buy old frames, new frames, parts for anything. And it's not just mini bikes, it's cars, go, trucks, everything. With everything, decor, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but then we have a mini bike show. Uh, that we're hosting called the pick oh, yeah. the pull start picnic. Oh yeah, and we even have a drag class. Are you going to build up a bike for this drag class? Um, I may just enter. I may just enter my bike as is, but I am building a bike for the car show. Nice. Yes, I am building. I'm building the eighty. Okay. I'm building the eighty. Uh, I don't want to tell y'all too much. Uh, I'm I'm building the eighty. <laughs> Um, it will have our swing arm kit on it. Nice. Um, it will have our front end suspension kit on it. And I know a lot of people are griping about it, but I will be making the standard Megamoto wheel work with it. 
Nice. I won't be running the ten inch. I'm gonna be running the short fat boys. Okay. Nice. But yeah. Know. Yeah. So then after that, are there any other races or drag ra- actually? So then we are also partnering up with Temple Drags. Right. Right. And they have three dates. One is middle of May around our car show, but then there's one in June. I'm there. And uh, they'll be riding. They'll, I guess they're doing nitro. Yeah, the nitro Harley, Harley drags. Man, you're talking about some incredible bikes. Yeah. Um, this is a good time period. We went last year, and they let us camp out and RV, and we grilled, and of course, fast cars and fast bikes and fast mini bikes, and it's just a good time, man. It's yeah. a real good time. I think they even had a uh, they had music performers and. Good time. We're going to have a blast. Yeah. And then the third one is in September as well. So we'll have three boom, more boom, drag boom. events to go to. You'll be at Yellow Belly. Yeah. I don't know if there's big Yellow Belly events. There will be. Okay. Yellow Belly is always going to be. I mean, man, we've it's been some of the street outlaws have hosted mm. events at Yellow nice. Belly. So definitely. Um, I normally, I'm normally the one throwing them and hosting them for the mini bikes at Yellow Belly. Okay, well then we definitely need to team up with you. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Definitely. We are we already yeah. teamed up. You just didn't know it yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> More teamed up. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely. Um. But this yeah, man, we're gonna do a yeah. we're gonna do a lot of racing this spring, this summer. Yeah, I feel like 2023 is the year of the drag for us because we've been all off road stuff. Yeah. And oh man, this is exciting! I yeah. love that we're gonna come out with our own drag. Frame. I have been I have been pitching to Mr. Tim and Mr. Dave. Um, you tell me how it sound. The GP we had the G- Go Power Sports one eighty, mm-hmm. correct? GPS six sixty. Dang, let's do it. It's on. Come is on, that man. is that Yellow Valley six sixty? <laughs> GPS six sixty, okay. six hundred and sixty feet. All right, you gotta find us a good date so we can put that on the books. Definitely. I actually um, Bernie and Zane were there when um, uh. God, I got tongue twisted again. Eason, Eason Wright, the uh, owner of the track. I just spoke with him last weekend too when I was out there. He waiting on us, man. Good. He okay. like, he like, come on. Okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all say the word. Let's do it. All right. So let's let's look at our calendars after this. Yeah. And then, like you said, the GPS 180 will be November 11th. Yeah. And I guess they're kind of worried about Go Power Sports people racing in that thing. Yes. Yeah, so. If they let you, would you? <sighs> I tell you what, Jason. Is it gonna be at the land? <laughs> yeah, I'll be at the ranch again. I tell you what. Um You got this. I made a, I took a lap. Okay. I I I, I kinda took my time around a lap. And man, honestly, I gotta give it to them guys, man. It's a rough course. Them isn't endurance it? guys are built different. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Drag race guys, it get kind of sketchy on the other end. Yeah. Big speed, small wheels and all of that. But man, it was part so that trail where I was like, "Oh yeah, this is it. I'm going down. <laughs> like, going down I'm, the I'm gonna feel it, all of this. Like, should I turn around? Nope. <laughs> it's even further. If I turn around, they're, they're gonna make fun of me. If they yeah, see me come I back gotta the finish this. So, um, I, I, I want to say I wouldn't, but I know me. Yeah. You're going to try it. I, I might try it anyway. <laughs> yeah. We should have the day before. We should, everyone should get to do a couple of laps to try it out. I, oh, I did, sure. I did take a lap and was like, man. And this is after I seen um, Slick Rick Watson, um, Bobby Hammond, and, and Metal Fab. This is after I seen all of these guys like killing this trail. Yeah. And then I go like baby around it, yeah. take my time and pedal around it. And I'm like, man, this is hard. Like, Physically, yeah. I wish I was on a ATV right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, there's some parts where I don't think an ATV can would even through. fit. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But yeah, man, I uh, want to be on a bicycle when I was on it because I'm like, man, I really want to be able to like brake better. Yeah, <laughs> and and maybe not be so heavy. Because yeah. oh yeah, I'll but, be honest, yeah. But um, I could lose a few pounds. <laughs> nah, I probably would do it. Okay. Yeah, I would do it. Ain't no probably. I would. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So I was also going to point out, um, since it is uh, for those who celebrate it, it is Chinese New Year coming up. Or uh... Happy New Year! No, I feel like you know what you can get away okay. with that. That's wild. Oh, so now I'm Chinese. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, <shit. laughs> 
Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Canceled. <laughs> like. Just a big X. Hey, I had a dude, I had a call the other day. Pick up the phone, go power sports. Yeah, uh, I need this and that, this and that. Da, 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 da. All right, so I'll be glad to help you. Just one moment. Man, you sound familiar. Is this Prince I'm talking to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so welcome yeah. to my world. You're going to be Chinese from this it. day forward. <laughs> sure thing, Prince. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I was just going to point out, so this year is the year of the rabbit. However, uh, if my simple Google searching uh, is correct, next year is the year of the drag on. Oh. So perhaps there's a way of working those things out. Oh, put it on the books. Let's do it. Do, do, do. Knock the dust off my Cisco CD. Oh, man. <laughs> Go ahead and just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, give us a few bars, Bernie. <laughs> yeah. <let's go>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that wraps up episode number two of Mini Biking Ain't Easy. I want to thank our guest, Jimmy Flacco man, Hall. Thank y'all for having me, man. Yeah. And, um, y'all shop Go Power Sports. We got y'all. If we ain't got it, we're going to try to get it for y'all. Let us know. So you got to help the, the customers out because you're talking about people sending you DMs. Where can they find you on Instagram, Facebook? Um, look me up on Facebook. That's where most of the mini bike action is. Mm -hmm. That's where all the groups and the drag racing and yeah. the beating the cars and the videos. And, yeah. um, look me up on Facebook, Flocko Hall. Then um, Instagram, check me out at, um, what is it? Fast underscore by B-Y underscore Flacco. Fast by Flacco. Yeah. And if you have uh, legitimate questions as well, jimmy at gopowersports.com. Yeah, if you need do. to buy some stuff from them, that's a good good way to do it. Yeah. So, Definitely. Uh, and of course you can reach us at, at gopowersports on Facebook, Instagram, yeah. the YouTubes. That's that's wrap that's right for the show. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank y'all. And uh, boom. Bam. Leaving them hanging. And then for Bernie. <laughs> Boom. Air pump, Bernie. Yeah. <laughs> but we appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll see you next week. And right on. Yes, sir. Wrap on. <laughs>